here today to support Ukraine. That's true. Because Ukraine needs our support, friendship, solidarity, and all kind of assistance. And unity. And unity among ourselves, first of all. And unity on the Ukrainian side, among politicians and society. And we believe it will happen. As we are strong here and united, so we will keep this line as long as it will be needed. Well, we have seen that um, the government is less prepared than the population. We have seen that people are concerned about a possible invasion military attack uh, in the east, in the south, in the north of Ukraine. And of course, we have heard the voices that we here in the European Union have to stay united. We have to show the solidarity, but we have to also deliver support in, uh, in different means, financial means, uh, personal um, engagement, political uh, engagement, but also I think in the end we have to find opportunities to uh, show support in military terms and that is th something I think we all have to work on. Ukraine should be increasingly integrated and taken uh, uh, by partnership from our side, otherwise it, it will always face, uh, uh, I don't know, I mean a kind of regular attacks from, uh, from, uh, from the Russian side. Are you happy with the way the German government has responded to this crisis? Well, I think the German government as such has given maybe mixed messages, but I think especially our Green uh, Foreign Minister has shown for the second time now her solidarity and the solidarity of the German government uh, to the Ukrainian uh, nation, to Ukrainian citizens. And I think it was extremely important that she went to the contact line last night. Germany as such has, um, I think, donated almost 2 billion euros to Ukraine. And what I would like to see is a EU approach, how are we going to have, a, let's say, a package for Ukraine. One part is technical assistance, one part is financial sanctions against, um, against Russia. Uh, we have to decrease our energy dependency from Russia. This is well recognized also in Germany. And all behind this, uh, the driving factor is the, the, the green part of the government, so to say. So I see that uh, the government has already shifted their priorities quite a bit. And this is important to notice also in Ukraine. Do you think that Russia will take a step back at this point, given that there has been such strong solidarity? Well, you know, I mean, I, I believe that the Russian policy is, um, is much project, projected uh, by our actions. As uh, we keep distance from Ukraine, as we abandon Ukraine, Russia will be, I mean, the Kremlin will be simply encouraged, I mean, to, to make uh, some assertive actions against Ukraine. The more we unite it and the more uh, we embrace Ukraine into different cooperational, uh, you know, projects uh, from the European Union as well NATO, the more secure Ukraine and we we will be. Slava Ukraina! Once again, Slava Ukraina! That sounds good. <laughs>